Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from Bob. No other name, just Bob. Uh, I've been waiting to answer this for a while because I needed to try it out myself and now I've got my new PC, I finally tried it out myself. Bob has asked, I want to do a fresh operating system install on my one terabyte SSD, but I'm not confident on how to move the Eagle Dynamics and save game folders then put them back to that hard disk. Okay, well, I've done it now and it's really easy. So first, to move the saved games folder needs a special procedure. And I've already done that. You can see um, a weird looking video here, but it's it's serviceable. I explained how to move your saved games folder and delete your mission files. So how to move your saved game folder is the interesting thing there. I will link that video onto the video description that you are watching now so you can go and do that. Then separately, how to move the Eagle Dynamics game folder. And that is even easier. All you got to do, I'm going to go and do it now. Well, I won't actually do it, but you know what I mean. I'm going to go to C drive where mine is. I'm going to go program files where mine is. I'm going to grab Eagle Dynamics here. I'm going to go right click and I would press cut there and then I would go to the drive where I want to put it and I would go right click it would say paste obviously I'll paste it and and send it over and for reasons that I just don't know that just works I know that because I did it so Eagle Dynamics would now be on D drive I would go Eagle Dynamics I would go into it and what you need to do is set up a new link for the executable in there so what you would do imagine this was my new D drive yeah I would go into uh, Eagle Dynamics into DTS World Open Beta, which will be in there. I would go into Binary, and I would go into DCS Updater, underscore updater.exe. I would go right-click. I would go Send to Desktop, a shortcut. That will create a new shortcut on your desktop, which you've just got to click, which will then route to the new place that you put it, which is on the D drive. And by the magic of modern programming, that just works, and we haven't had any problems with it, which is great. That's all I've got to say. Is there anything you think I've missed or any problems with that you found RC? No. I think you got it. All right. I uh, hope that's useful. See you later.